What's up everybody, glad you're back. It feels like summer, for sure. Can you feel it? I am definitely feeling it. And with summer comes bugs. The number one question that I get when it comes to tarp camping is how do I deal with bugs? Honestly, like 90% of the time, I just don't worry about it because the bugs around here really aren't that bad usually, but I've been looking for a solution for the other 10% of the time when bug protection is a must. I've tried pyramid shelters in the past and they work okay, but they're a little bit fiddly to get in and out of and they're heavier than I would like. Enter the Bora Gear Bug Baby. Today I'm going to go through an overview of the bivy and then run through some of the pros and cons that I've found so far. Full disclosure, this product isn't entirely new to me. I actually picked it up a few years ago and then very long story short, Lynn, my fiance, and I ended up leaving our apartment, putting everything in storage and driving up and down the west coast in our forerunner, staying in Airbnbs and that sort of thing. Uh, and we did that for about two years. At that point, anytime that I was going out backpacking, I was with her, so the bivy went into storage and I just used the triplex all the time. But now that we're settled down, I was able to get it out of storage and I'm really excited to give it a shot this summer. I ordered the long, wide model with a DCF floor. I wanted something that was big enough to hang out in if I needed to, and DCF is less slippery. I always take a ground sheet with me anyway, so I'm not super worried about abrasion. I also ordered it with regular Noceum mesh, as opposed to the Nano. I've had some issues with the durability of the Nanoceum in the past, and the weight difference is marginal. I've found that it tends to pick up a lot of sticks and debris, and when I try and pull them out, it gets little tears. So I just went with the regular, more sturdy version. I actually originally ordered a Sil Poly version, but I put a hole in it on the one and only night that I used it. I don't blame Bora Gear for this. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it was just a fluke or a freak accident. And John was absolutely awesome in helping to get me a replacement in DCF. I just can't in good conscience leave it out of this sort of review. That said, it did sort of shake my confidence in Sil Poly as a floor material. All in all, it weighs in at six and a half ounces on my scale, which really isn't bad for full bug protection. There's stake loops on all four corners, as well as loops on the netting at either end so that you can raise and lower it depending on the weather. It's also fully enclosed so it keeps out bugs as well as pooling water. And it's got a ton of room inside for activities. So the pros here are that it's lighter and less fiddly to get in and out of than a regular pyramid net. It also has excellent breathability compared to either a normal bivy sack or a tent. The only real cons here are that it's somewhat confining compared to a tent. You're not really gonna be able to eat inside of it or, or anything like that. And it's also a little bit heavier than the next lightest option, which would just be to wear a head net and then just wrap your sleeping bag around yourself. But overall, I think that with the ability to move around inside and say, read a book or whatever you wanna do, the trade-off is definitely worth it. I'm pumped to try it out this summer and I'll definitely let you all know how it works. But now I wanna hear from you. Have you used the bug bivy? If so, leave me a comment down below and let me know how it went for you. Also, if you're new to tarp camping, you still have lots of gear decisions to make, so make sure to check out my video on how to get started with tarp camping over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.